Welcome back. People are constantly asking if Soothe 2 will reduce harshness and why is it better than an EQ and, um, you know, what its best uses are. In an orchestral context, I found a good example for what I like to use it for. It's not in the harshness, it's in the lower resonances. This is Angelic Harp. It's a great harp. Uh, it's from Orange Tree Samples. And... I found a couple notes that were a bit resonant. I took the reverb off. I'm only using the room mic, and I've got the King James um, preset, King David, not King James, the King David preset as the starting point. And I've got cinematic rooms at negative six decibels on its first amethyst hall preset for the reverb. But the point is, when you get these notes, um, very resonant and by resonant in the lower uh, harmonics in the lower in the in the fundamental it kind of sticks out um, see it's it's overloading and distorting even a little bit and when I turn soothe on the same note you can see visually get subtracted and an octave above it or maybe a fifth and an octave and the harmonic series above it and that will follow the notes that I play and it kind of thins it out a little bit but in a mixing standpoint that is what we call cleaning up mud <laughs> Soothe off again. It's really this F and this G that are. There's just a lot of. They sound much more pleasant with this uh, soft, if well recorded, hard, if not. Now let's try hard. It's being much more aggressive there. And this will fit into a, some mixes much better still got all the same lovely sound but instead of that really prominent fundamental tone you get something that um, is going to fit into a mix many mixes much better and if you do something like uh, a glissando in harp mode where the notes continue resonating Soothe 2 is helping um, really control that. I picked acoustic guitar, a, a, an acoustic guitar preset to get this. Um, you know, there's lots of great presets. Orchestral Nose Job and Contain the Low Mid Orchestra are two others that I like for orchestral things. I'll take Soothe 2 off and do that same glissando. And there's just kind of a lot of low end reverberant thickness that you may want less of. Here's soft. Actually, it's off. so there's a little bit of a different volume uh, energy going in but hopefully you can hear the difference and again I'll play this without talking these F's and G's a little bit
I can't even hit it that hard. So I hope that helped demonstrate one of the uses for Sooth 2. Uh, one of the competing products that is less expensive is called Smooth Operator. And I've heard good things about it. I don't have it. Um, can you do this with EQ? Yeah, I'm sure you could do this with EQ. You could do this uh, with a number of other tools. Uh, multiband compressor might help a little bit. But the reason that these specific tools um, are fantastic is because they follow the frequency. And you can just dial it down if it's too heavy handed for you. Or you can adjust the mix. Listen to the delta. Here's the here's the notes that it's taking out. So you hear more of the pluck, basically. But it sounds musical and rich and um, you know pleasant, right? Here is a web page for Smooth Operator. Um, it's from a company called Baby Audio. It does a similar thing. It goes on sale to a lower price at some times, some points. Um, and it, it, it basically is a similar, similar concept, but less expensive. I have not tried it. But these types of tools are coming out, and they're another thing for the tool boss. All right. Uh, take care. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been putting out a lot of videos lately. But, um, you know, uh, it's just a good time of the year for me to spend a little extra time playing around. Enjoy. Bye-bye.